not for sure why people film in the bathroom. It's kind of gross. But this gives us a different view of our life. Thanks with things. Anyways, so yesterday was kind of a not great day for me. I get really stressed when we're about to travel, like very stressed. And we were two days out and still didn't have accommodation for our life. And that's just really hard for me. So we didn't have accommodation for the next two weeks, we thought. Now I think we're gonna change to three weeks. We're going to Iguazu Falls. It should be a really cool destination for falls and I've never actually seen huge falls in my life. So that will be my first time doing that but we didn't have any place to stay and Easter weekend's coming up and so it's making it incredibly difficult to find places to stay. Let's see if I can get ready. My get ready is like nothing by the way. It's, this may be more than I do on a normal basis, but I thought I'd do something for y'all. And maybe one day when I can afford a professional, my face will look decent again. But humidity and my face do not go well together. So anyways, I was never planning to go to Brazil and stay in Brazil. However, at the falls, at the falls, it's a border of Paraguay, Brazil, and Argentina. And Yen, of course, wants to go to all three countries because she's never been to Paraguay before. And I, of course, never have either. Um, she's been to a lot more countries than I have. We're trying to plan all these three things. We won't stay in Paraguay, but we will stay in Brazil and we will stay in Argentina. But we had to figure out how to do that and there's two different national parks one on the brazilian side and one on the argentinian side and so we had to figure out how to do all those things and stay in each places and go to each park and then we started looking at flights back to the u.s and discovered that if we flew out of sao paulo it was almost half the cost to fly to new york and so i was like fine we'll just we'll fly out of sao paulo i'll get over just whenever i looked up brazil's safety it seemed very dangerous, very dangerous. And that was confirmed yesterday when we started looking at Sao Paulo Airbnb accommodations. And I look at reviews very heavily because that way I can figure out from real people on the ground if they really think that it's safe or not. And I've never seen Airbnb reviews so bad before. These reviews were literally the worst I've ever seen. It was basically like, there's drug addicts everywhere, you, weapons. We'll probably stay a little farther out, but we changed our plans. Instead of saying three weeks in Sao Paulo, we're gonna say two now. Also, housing in Sao Paulo was so expensive, ridiculously expensive, more than Iguazu. And so I'm like, so I'm gonna have to go live by drug addicts and criminals and pay more for my housing. No, did not want to. So we're gonna try to stay a little farther out of the city center and share accommodation that way i'm a little more comfortable with safety and we have people there to help us with safety but only stay two weeks instead of three say three weeks in iguazu so we had to figure all this out it was just like a pain in the butt and i just yeah So anyway, so we had to figure all that out and try to not make it a gazillion dollars because we're so late and I am a procrastinator on travel stuff because I don't really like to do travel stuff. And so we had to figure all that out and we, I think we did finally. We don't have Sao Paulo figured out yet, but I think we're going to change accommodation like, sorry, I think we're going to change accommodations like four times in Iguazu in three weeks but only three different accommodations, I think. So, I don't know. I finally told her, just do whatever you need to do. I'm stressed out about this and hopefully we'll figure it out. So, <sighs> tomorrow we travel. And today, since we're procrastinators, I should have turned on the light for y'all. How's that look? Mm, I look really tired. My coffee was really weak this morning. Anyways, so today we're gonna go to La Boca because we had procrastinated long enough and it's one of the main places in the city you need to go. La Boca is very touristy, but it's supposed to be a little bit more dangerous in that area, so I'm always cautious about that. And I don't want my phone being stolen from my hand whenever I'm filming. Um, so we're gonna do that. 
take a bus there. Hopefully the buses are running. It's a holiday today, so that's another fun thing that we have to account for. But yeah, so I hope it's a good day. We're going to have to also stock up on a few other little things just because it's so much cheaper here to buy stuff because of their blue rate. Um, so yeah, so that's what our plan is today. And then we'll see how I feel when I get back. If I want to pack with y'all, because I haven't packed. We just got our laundry back yesterday. And so, which is such a such a luxury like having your laundry done for you i'm telling you that i'm living the dream i can't get my face to look good anymore but i'm living the dream with the laundry so that's what counts also i have not worn makeup in years but i used to do full faces of makeup every single day 2015 changed my entire world that's whenever i traveled for the first time and since 2015 makeup has not been a priority for me whatsoever however recently probably before i even wanted to start filming three or four months ago, I just missed my makeup so bad. And, but I don't want to pay for it. It's, I feel like it's more expensive abroad than it is in the United States. Here, I think I could get a decent price, but I have makeup at home and I have like an eyelash curler and stuff at home and I don't want to spend money on it here when I'm going home in a couple months. So I bought mascara because it was cheap. Turns out not as cheap as I could have got it because in Anse you can get tons of stuff for really cheap and mascara got even cheaper and so uh but yeah so I do want to start wearing makeup my foundation and stuff probably will not work on my skin tone anymore because even though I complain about getting tan and not being tan not actually tan there's do other people do that I don't know that's probably why I have bags under my eyes anyways so even though I complain about not getting tan, I'm way tanner than I used to be, so I don't think my foundation will work, which really sucks because it's, it, like, for me, expensive. I'm like, eight or nine dollars. I use a coupon for the foundation because I don't like spending money. That's pretty much a get ready with me because that's all I have. I, I guess I can do my hair for y'all. Hopefully this doesn't knock over the camera. This thing is pretty prepared. Precary has. Do, 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 do. Okay. What else do I have to tell y'all? We are going to get to spend Easter in Aguazu Falls, which hopefully they'll have stuff um, there. Who knows? Last Easter we were in Oaxaca, Mexico, and they, of course, have parades and everything like that, which is actually really cool to see because they're it's Catholic tradition even down here it's Catholic and so they just do really fun things but yeah so maybe in Guazi will have some cool things I'm not necessarily looking forward to Sao Paulo because after I just the safety I just didn't want to go to Brazil but the thing is is Brazil is changing their visa rules I don't know when like June or July of this year and so they're gonna start charging Americans Australians Canadians whoever, New Zealand, I don't know, whoever else to get into Brazil because we charge them to get into our countries. So this is really our last chance for now to go to Brazil when we're down here and flights were cheap out. And so we're going to Brazil. We're going to see a little of it. I wasn't even that concerned because I've been in South America for a while and I was trying to convince myself not to be concerned about safety. But then I read all those Airbnb reviews and I was like, okay, maybe I should be a little more concerned than I am. So I may not get to film a lot out in Sao Paulo, but we'll see. You never know. Nobody else is around and I can make sure that nobody on motorcycle or bike is going to come rob me. Then probably do get some filming in. So we'll see about that. So anyways, there's my get ready with me look. Congratulations. Okay, let's get a little boca.
where you flag it down. So a little out of breath, but we got our cardio in. We just brought an empanada. It's gonna be tasty. Well, maybe I don't know. <laughs> I haven't had meat in a while. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> Greasy. Can't have much of that. snack after we got back from today and it was actually a very successful day i'm honestly always shocked every time we go to a tourist attraction and it was worth going to like laboco was worth going to one you get to see the river and it was kind of had some trash i guess they deport trash from there from the sea i don't know there's just a lot of trash on some boats but the colorful buildings and everything that you'll get to see is it was really cool laboca definitely worth going to then I was going to show you our little haul. We have a praise report, as many would say, that we found at Car4, which is one local supermarkets here, Car4 brand rice. Well, we actually just found rice on a shelf, and it was 200 pesos, which is a little over 50 cents for a kilo, so about two pounds. So it's super cheap once you find the rice, but literally when we went to Adia in La Boca today, we went to try to find rice because you can't find it on the shelf. No rice on the shelves. So... We have a crazy report that we found rice on a shelf, and it was Car4 brand, and it was 200 pesos. So that was very, very nice. And I would show it to you, but it's already on the stove cooking. By the way, if you ever want to cook rice, we've learned that every single package of rice is different with the amount of water 
and how you cook it. So never ask me for rice suggestions because I can give you a general of what we do, but rice is so hard to cook unless you have an Instant Pot, which I'm a big fan of the Instant Pot. I cannot wait to get home and grab my Instant Pot and bring it with me everywhere because that is my baby. I love my Instant Pot and I love rice out of my Instant Pot a lot. So anyways, here's my little haul and I'll kind of tell you the pricing on it. So you're thinking, wow, what kind of haul did she get in Argentina? Oh, it's just normal stuff. Because of their Blu-ray, everything is so cheap here. I was trying to get a few stock-up items. So we got a little bottle of Pantene Pro-V. It is my favorite conditioner and shampoo. I don't have to use as much of it. And it takes me a long while to use it. That's 200 milliliters. I have no idea how much that is in ounces. We bought Nivea because we've been buying cheap lotion. And my skin is just so dry. So I was like, we have to buy more expensive lotion. And then I got two toothbrushes. I needed these little heads because I need to travel with them. And so I wanted to get those. I packed some of my bag, which I will show you in another vlog probably because it ended up being like just one portion of it, not even fully packed, 50 minutes. So that's how long it takes me to pack clothes. And this was a big pack because I had to literally pack almost every single one of my clothes from scratch because we've been traveling back and forth. We wore our entire spectrum of clothes from winter clothes to summer clothes. So it was just a really big pack. Now I'm hot and I have a headache because I need to eat because I haven't ate and it's probably almost six o'clock. And I haven't ate since this morning besides a little pear snack. So I'm gonna do that. But before I left, I wanted to show y'all. Yesterday, I was having a little bit of a bad day. Ian ran and got me uh, my gluten-free alpha whore, which I'm not totally gluten-free anymore, but these alpha whore, I just love them so much that I'm willing to pay extra for them for my last time that I may ever get one. So I've had three of these and they're double this size. <laughs> they're kind of big. I don't know how many kilocalories in this. It's like 450 calories for the whole thing. So this is what an alpha whore, half of it looks like. I ate I ate half of it yesterday. These are the chocolate alpha whores. They have chocolate on the outside, then the chocolate cookie, and then dulce de leche on the inside. These babies are just top notch. I am telling you, if you have a chance to try an alpha whore or dulce de leche, there's really no reason why you shouldn't because they're delicious. I hope you had fun with me today exploring La Boca, seeing a few things on the bus. And I forgot to mention, we stopped and ate an empanada, as you probably saw. And it was okay, it wasn't my favorite, it was really greasy. I'm not used to oily foods anymore, so fried things are kind of not as palatable for me. But it was okay, it wasn't terrible. And it was actually the first empanada I've tried in Argentina because I wasn't eating gluten. And so I just have not eaten the empanada, which was kind of a bummer because I thought I wasn't gonna get to, but so that was exciting that I finally got to eat an empanada. But we met the cutest couple, they were in their 80s, traveling from Chicago. And we sat and talked to them for probably an hour or so, you think? Yeah, so probably like an hour or so. They were really nice and sweet. They've been to Buenos Aires four times, so they were giving us tips on where to go and we were telling them everything we do. And that was exciting to talk to somebody from the US. And you know, we don't meet a lot of people all the time. And so, which is okay with me, but then I realized sometimes it's nice to talk to people, you know, every once in a while other people besides myself and me talking to myself and I talked to Ian of course. Yeah, it was a good day overall. Getting everything packed. We're not going to be stressed. That's not on the agenda. And yeah, so I hope you have a great day. Let's go out and make the world 1% better today and I'll see you on the next one. Ooh, subscribe if you would like. That would be nice. Bye guys. <laughs>